Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas on Nixus Gaming. When last we left off, we thought we'd take a nice vacation into Zion Canyon here, get away from the war in the Mojave for a bit. And it uh, did not go well as planned. Our friends, the Happy Trails uh, Caravan Company, got killed by a bunch of white leg tribals on our way in. And now uh, we're being forced to uh, go visit the former first legate of the Legion, the burned man himself, Joshua Graham. And this is Follows Shock, who, uh, quote unquote, saved us from one of the White Legs. But apparently, uh, he is part of the Dead Horses, a tribe here, and Joshua Graham is kind of leading that tribe right now. Hold up. See that log over there? Take a closer look. There might be some good stuff tucked in there. There might be some good stuff tucked in there. Hollow log, you got some mutt fear recruit. Nothing too interesting for me, but if you ever see whitish logs there, you can check them for loot here in Zion Canyon. Let me show you guys the map here. This is the map of Zion. It's not crazy big, but it's a decent size. We need to get over here to the Dead Horses Camp. So we'll probably follow this path around here into this little river valley. And we'll uh, just check out our surroundings as we go. It is a pretty uh, beautiful place, if I say so myself. He follows Chalk is going to have some uh, commentary on a few different places, like the river down there. Some kind of lucky. Guess that one was all full of gecko, eh? <laughs> Don't get used to it though. Yaogwai are plenty mean as a rule. So that was a Yaogwai. Which uh, we haven't seen in New Vegas, actually. Except for here in Honest Hearts. You can take the path north here if you want. Or head east over the ridge. There's a nice view from the top of that cliff if you want a look. But yeah, Yao Guai have been an enemy in uh, Fallout 3, and they later came back in Fallout 4. They weren't included in the base game of Fallout New Vegas, except for here in Honest Hearts. So as he said here, we can take the path north, get a view from the cliff here, or we can just head east to where we need to go. We're going to get a view from the cliff here, so I can show off one of the things with Follows Chalk. There should be a path up. There should be a path up to the top somewhere around here. Hopefully we don't run into that uh, Yao Guai again. I'm not seeing a path anywhere. I do see a red dot, I guess, up there on the map. Got a road down there, a bridge. There are a few different bridges around this area because, like I said, the river snakes through it all. And you see a bunch of different art on all the canyon walls. He wants us to follow the road south here. But I want to see if I can get up here real quick. Follows Chalk is a little bit of a... Uh, useful companion to have around you here. I think there are five cliffs, five uh, spire areas that you can get to in the game. That's the Yao Guai right there. But if you take him to one of these uh, spire areas... Oh, that was just a cub. Okay. If you take him to one of these spire areas... There's Mother! Does not like that I killed her uh, son there. This is the spine. And if, like I said, if you take... 
signs of landmarks from up here. Look, I'll show you. That's him saying if you take him up to the spire here, any others in the area, like I've been trying to say, he's going to point out a few different locations on your map here. I think there are five different spires you can take him to here. Probably won't go to all of them, but it is something that I wanted to point out for you. Again, if you find any of these hollow logs, feel free to check them. There's not going to be any interesting loot that I want from them, so I'll leave them behind. And yeah, let's get back on our way to the Dead Horses Camp. So we can meet Joshua Graham. We've heard about this guy for most of the base game. It'll be interesting to see what happened to him exactly. If you remember, he was uh, the legate at the first battle of Hoover Dam, and when he lost... Caesar covered him in tar, pitched him in fire, and threw him over the cliff into the river. And I guess he washed up and uh, came out here. Didn't want to deal with the Legion anymore. So let's go ahead and head down this way. I think it's going to be a generally peaceful walk over to the dead horse's camp. There is a uh, location down there in the water that you might want to go to. But I'm going to leave it for now. We do have some enemies up here. Some bark scorpions. A rad scorpion. Dude, I can't hear what you're saying at all while you're shooting. Something about uh, dead souls being trapped in something. Let's go ahead and continue this way. We got another location here. That he should make commentary on. See those handprints? Dead horses and sorrows mark them on taboo places. Places from back when. Good thing for you, I don't buy into that stuff. So that's him saying that uh, your tribes mark some old buildings with these hands here. And they have a belief that they aren't really allowed to enter these places. But as he just said, he doesn't buy into that superstition. You can come in here, there's nothing too useful in it. Just a first aid box for me. And uh, yeah, we'll continue on our path here. I think he said to follow the road south. Where are we on the map? We're getting there, we're getting there. Where are you going? That's not the way to the camp. Oh, apparently this is not the way to the camp. Do I have to go down into the river from here? Yeah, it looks like I go down into the river from here. Here we go. Down this path to the north. Hope you don't mind getting wet. Now, you do want to be careful walking through this water. They do have a lot of it booby-trapped with various bear traps and stuff. I don't think there are any mines. These paintings show the dead horses' victories against other tribes. Lots more of them since Joshua came to us. I said there are no mines, but I'm probably going to regret that. And I'm definitely going to step on a few here and there. I don't think there's going to be anything useful along the side here. More logs you can check if you want. Nearly there now. Watch out for traps in the water. Got to keep the white legs out somehow. Eh? That's him saying they've trapped the water here. There's a bear trap there. Continuing on, we got another bear trap up here. I'm not seeing any mines, thankfully. Just walking along through the water here. It's definitely very different scenery from the Mojave area. It's a nice change of pace, you know? Alright, we got another bear trap. We should be getting close to the camp now. 
Maybe. I don't see any more bear traps, at least. I'm gonna discover this cave here, but I'm not gonna go into it right now. Fallen Rock Cave. Or if I have time later, I might go into it. I don't know. I was kind of going to save some of these caves that I need to go into towards the end of the DLC. Here we are. Joshua's just ahead there. In the Angel Cave. So this is uh, the Dead Horses Camp here. We need to go to the Angel's Cave up ahead and talk to Joshua Graham. We got a couple guys uh, training on each other here, sparring. You should be just inside here. Are you guys ready to meet the burn man? Hoi. Auslander Zuka Joshua Graham. Am I looking for Joshua? Yes, I am. Can you tell me where he is? You know our tongue. Smart Auslander. Joshua in high place of cave. You show respect, Utman. Joshua is greatest warrior. You show him no respect. He show you thunder and fire. I'll uh, make sure to be on my best behavior then. You wise for Auslander. Alright, so he's in the high part of the cave here. So let's go ahead and head on up. Still got Follows Chalk with us too. And there he is, the burned man himself. Right away you can see he is completely bandaged up all over his head, probably from the burns he got from Caesar. We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White Legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days. And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. And you're a courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting, but I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group, but you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. But we can't expect God to do all the work. So right away, he seems much, uh, much nicer than what you would think out of the, uh, Legate the legion but uh, how do you know so much about what happened to me the dead horses are capable scouts nothing passes into or out of zion without my hearing of it i came here with happy trails to make contact with the new canaanites happy trails i remember they were good friends i have bad news for your employers new canaan was destroyed its citizens scattered all because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. The White Legs want to join the Legion. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the New Canaanites, almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other New Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now, not with everything that's going on. Well, uh, I'm not going to leave without offering to help. What can I do? You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord. But it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them. Many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. Why don't you or Daniel do it? We are responsible for leading and protecting the sorrows and dead horses. They are smart people, but not as worldly as you or I. I am preparing the dead horses for war, and Daniel is preparing the sorrows for other things. Well, uh, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Follows Chalk can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. 
So that is Joshua Graham there. Let's uh, talk to him again, see if we can learn some other stuff. Welcome back. What can I do for you? What did you say about a courier? You were expecting another one? Caesar would never admit this openly, but he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentarii and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory. But maybe this one survived. Alright, well, uh, Caesar is dead. I did it personally. You should probably know. I have to admit, it's hard to believe. That even after all he did to me, all he tried to do to find and erase me from this world, he went first. No doubt this will be good for the Mojave. I can only hope Arizona and the tribes don't suffer as the Legion falls apart around them. They won't. I'll make sure the Legion has very little to go home with. Hmm. Good. You're doing God's work, whether you believe it or not. Also, uh, pray? God? I wouldn't think a Legion man would talk about this stuff. I am a new Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. A day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with others and work the tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal. In a world filled with misery and uncertainty, it is a great comfort to know that, in the end, there is light in the darkness. Every day we move closer to our judgment. We must do our best to walk in the footsteps of our Lord and teach others how to do the same. For many of us, the road is a difficult one, but the path is always there for us to follow, no matter how many times we may fall. Do you ever fall? Every day. Some days are harder than others. Well, uh, nice guns. In the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau, all tribes are known for a specific weapon. White legs are known for their big submachine guns, storm drums. They broke into an armory near Spanish Fork and have been using them for years. Of course, the dead horses have their wooden war clubs, and even the sorrows have their Yao Guai gauntlets. This type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago. Learning its use is a new Canaanite rite of passage. Do you run the show around here? I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the dead horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is a spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. Uh, what's going on with all of these tribes? A great deal. There are three, make that four, tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Legs on the way in. In this camp, you'll find dead horses. In the Narrows, the Sorrows. And finally, there's Daniel and myself. We are new Canaanites. Uh, why did they attack my ca caravan? They attack everyone who isn't a white leg, especially caravans. They don't know how to survive on their own, so they have to raid. But as for why they are here, they are trying to wipe us out. All of us. They want to join Caesar's legion, and they can only prove their worth by destroying the new Canaanites and everyone we shelter. Do they speak our language? Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. They've developed their own languages. Take the dead horses. We think they were originally refugees from a place called Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. They speak a combination of Rez and a language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. Over time, the two languages blended. I was a translator years ago, but it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. 
Uh, does the valley belong to the dead horses? The valley belongs to God, but no. The dead horses live at Dead Horse Point, up the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. Before I return to the fold, I visited them years earlier. I looked much different then, but I left an impression on them. I taught them how to hunt more efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre-war equipment. When I return, they showed their appreciation. Why haven't I seen any sorrows in the valley? The sorrows have many skilled hunters among them, but no warriors. They have not had to deal with war or raiders for decades. Even though they can hunt a full-grown Yaowai, they don't know how to deal with the White Legs. That's why we're here. And are the new Canaanites really a tribe? We wear more clothing than them and understand more about technology, but we're still a tribe, a linked family of families. The Boneyard, Phoenix, New Vegas, they're just places, metal and stone. New Canaan dies, but the tribe lives on. When the walls come tumbling down and you lose everything you have, you always have family. And your family always has tribe. Yeah, we got family we can do anything if we got family all right so you can trade and have him repair your stuff or we can ask him some more personal stuff right now i'd like you to focus on helping daniel maybe there will be time later never mind we can't ask him anything personal so i'm gonna take this time You'll notice we got a few quests there, Roadside Attraction, Gone Fishing, and Tourist Trap. Those are the next parts of the main quests here. We're going to work on this uh, Big Horners of the Eastern Virgin here. If you remember, uh, Follows Chalk told us there is a Big Horner calf missing, a baby. And the uh, Big Horners are getting a little hostile because of it. So we need to go up and we need to bring this calf back to its mother. And I think the best way to do this is to come up the back somewhere here. The back of the uh, dead horses camp. Up here, I think. And while we're doing that, we need to pick up some banana yucca, yucca fruit. For the calf itself. Now, I haven't done this in a while. I know the big thing here is you want to stay away from the grown-up big horners. If you get too close to them, they will attack. And I don't think it's uh, bad on the quest at all. But you do get less experience if you do that. Uh, this guy's just running straight ahead here. I don't know where he's going. Oh, he's running back now. Yeah, you saw there it's optional not to kill any of the big horners. And of course we gotta do the optional objective. So uh, a quick save here probably wouldn't hurt. The green monster men aren't native to Zion. Wonder where they came from. The spitter plants and the green monster men aren't native to Zion. Well, uh, I don't know what he's talking about there. Maybe we'll see. We got a big horner here. I think the best way to get around him is to go this way. No. He's like right in the middle here. Can I go up these rocks? Do another quick save. I can't get up there. How am I supposed to get around this guy? He's like right in the middle. What the hell? Um, Am I sure I can't get up up here? No, it's not letting me jump up there. How close can I get to this guy? Let's do another quick save, because I'm definitely going to mess this up. Hey, hey buddy. Don't mind me. I'm just uh, walking around you. Alright, so that's around the first one. That's a little close for comfort, though. We'll uh, continue on here. I was hoping I could find some banana yucca on my way through here. I think there's one up there. 
I don't know how many I'm going to need. Yeah, there's a few along the way here. Oh, hello, there's another one. Go ahead and pick more of that. Just make our way across here. Got another guy up here. Where are we going? I think we're going through here. Grab some more yucca on our way through. I think the calf is right around here. Yeah, that's the calf here. Now I'm not sure, do I have to feed it the yucca? Do I just walk up? Yeah, interact, feed it a banana yucca. So will it follow me now? Yep, it is following me now, let's go. Now, I think it does lose interest after a while, so that's why you need multiple yucca fruit. Did it just lose interest? Is that what that was? Yeah, it just lost interest. So let's feed it another. Will it walk up around here? Come on, buddy. Hey, I'm over here. Come on. There you go. Alright. Can I just drop down here? Will it follow me? Yep, there it goes. It does lose interest pretty fast. Feed it one more. Get it across here. Come on, buddy. It doesn't move right away either, which is kind of annoying. Is this... I think this is the mother here. Are you going to run up to it? Come on. It's right here. I don't want to have the mother attack me. Hey, hey, I have your calf here. I have your calf. Calm down. Calm down. There we go. So you have the option to keep it or return it. We're going to return it here. And that turns the big horners peaceful. And there we go. Now let's uh, go back to Follow's Chalk. I have no idea where he's at. Should have followed me through here. But he didn't. There he is. Can I tell you? Well, uh, I returned the calf to its mother and didn't even kill any of the big horners. Whew. Glad to hear it. That'll be some happy mama, huh? Thank you. Really, it means a lot to me. All right, now, uh, I think next we want to talk to him. Let's get this level up first. Um, how are we doing this? How are we doing this? Lockpicks at 70. Let's boost some of our stuff up to 75. I'm working on the uh, leftover non-combat skills now, in case you were wondering. Uh, next is going to be lockpick. There we go. Alright, and we have another perk we can grab. We might go ahead and do Bloody Mess. That way we do a little bit more damage. I'm just going to kind of scroll through here, see if there's anything else catching my eye. I don't want to spend too much time here. That's a uh, good one, too. 
but I think we decided we were going to skip on that. Because the only enemies that really block are other melee ones, and I don't think we'll fight too many of those. Alright, let's uh, do that... Uh, where was that? I don't think it was way up here. I can't find it now. It's bloody mess. There we go. There can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. Oh, there it is. Let's uh, go ahead and talk to him. What can I tell you? See if we can get his quest now. I want to know more about you. Can I tell you? Maybe not. Do I have to? Are you sure? It's easy to get lost out here without a guide. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. All right. Joshua won't be too happy, but all right. Trying to see if I can get his companion quest real fast. Uh. Him and the other companion you can get here actually do have quests that'll affect the ending of this, so um, you probably want to get those, you probably do. I don't, I'm pretty sure I can get his right now. They aren't very complicated quests, they just involve some talking to people. But uh, let's go ahead and find him again, maybe he has to be at the camp for us to talk to him about it. See, we got Joshua Graham out here. There's Follows Chalk. Joshua says you need someone to guide you around the valley. He said I should go with you if you want. Yeah, sure, I could use a guide. Good. I really wasn't looking forward to talking to Joshua if you turned me down. Let's move then. All right, anything on that companion quest? No, nothing. Alright, well, uh, in between episodes, I'll look more into that companion quest. Next episode, we're going to start this uh, next main quest, though. That involves all three of these. you got to get some supplies. And then we're going to go meet the Sorrows, the next tribe in Zion Valley. But that'll be next time. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you then. Bye-bye.